All right, good evening. My name is Stuart. Um, tonight is actually my birthday. So, Happy birthday, Stuart. So, thought we could celebrate. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually empty. <laughs> the, I know, right? But the purpose of my speech tonight is to demonstrate how to use a pull tap waiter's corkscrew. Now, the reason I wanted to do this is because during my time while I was the general manager of a wine bar downtown, I found that it was the most effective and efficient way for serving wine. And I also found that most people didn't know how to use it, and often they didn't even know what it was exactly. And that most people were knew these strange winged contraptions. But these are actually not very good for opening wine. Um, my, uh, my mother the other day was telling me a story. Recently she went on a camping trip with, a friend, with some friends of hers she hadn't seen in a while. And they brought wine, and so they had one of these. And they go to open the bottle, but it breaks. Thankfully, yeah. one of them had a spare. But then that one broke. So what they did is they had to walk across the campground, across the street, go to a convenience store. They picked up another one, brought it back to open the wine. And it broke. So the only thing worse than not having wine is having wine you can't drink. <laughs> so tonight, I'm going to explain to you what a wine key is. I'm going to explain how to, or the unique feature of the pull tap design. And then I'm going to demonstrate how to use it. So, a waiter's corkscrew, waiter's helper, or wine key. It is a, it's a tool that is basically a handle that has several other tools in it, kind of like a pocket knife. And what you'll have is that there's, there's some sort of a blade, there's an arm, there's a screw, and then there's usually some way to open bottle caps. Mm -hmm. So these can be made of plastic, made of kind of a cheaper metal, mass produced, costs like $2, get them at Walmart. Or they could be handmade in France, made of stainless steel and mammoth ivory, as in mammoth bone. And then they can cost around 295 euro. It's a wide range. Now the design I'm going to be showing you is the pull tap wine design. What it has, it has two teeth and a hinge in the arm. You can see the difference here. What that allows for is extremely easy opening of the bottle. In the, in the industry, we would sometimes call them training wheels. But that's exactly why they're really good for use at home. So let me show you how to use it. What you want to do is you want to open the blade, and then I like to put it in the crook of my hand, like so. And so then you use your thumb to keep the distance from the bottle. Guide it like so. And you just use the very tip of the blade. You don't want to saw it. You just use the tip of the blade. And I've already removed this one so I can empty the wine, but empty the wine. <laughs> so then, but what I did is what you do is you just rotate the bottle and guide it with your hand. Just keep your hand in the exact same place, rotate the bottle and you're going to just trace, and then you'll create, uh, you'll separate the foil. Then you use the blades, the side of the blade, to peel off the cap. Now it's open. Close the blade, open the arm, release the corkscrew. And then what you do is you just take the tip of the screw, and you set it onto the center of the cork, and as you raise it, give it a little bit of pressure, and then it'll be standing position, and you just gently press down and give it the turn, and it should guide itself into the center. You don't need to do anything. You want to go most of the way down. Then what you do is you tilt the handle downwards, and then you move the arm down. You need to you know, a little more, a little less. Just adjusting it, it's fine. So you move it to the first, you move it so that the first tooth is on the lip of the bottle, and that's where the hinge comes in handy, is it gets in the right spot. So then you keep it on the lip of the bottle and just pull the handle up and do it gently because you don't want to tear the cork. And you'll get it most of the way out with that first tooth. And that's when what you do is you, oh, <laughs> I already actually did it, I'm sorry. I'm so used to it. <laughs> so what you do is you use that, use that first tooth and then get you to start it. And then you pull it up again and use the second tooth I was on autopilot, so I was just like, I'm like ready to serve you guys wine. <laughs> so you use the first tooth, pull up, and then you use the second tooth, and you do the same thing to finish it off. And so it should be mostly out of the way. Longer, there are longer corks and shorter corks. Just pull it out, and it's done. Check to make sure there's nothing funky or rancid, and that's it. You remove the cork, close it up, serve your friends. So to review, I've 
explain what a wine key is. I've shown what the unique feature of the pull tab design is, and I've demonstrated how to use it. Now it takes some practice, you won't get it right away, but it's pretty easy to use, and once you do, I guarantee you won't go back. You'll find that this is the key to unlocking new and unforgettable memories. Thank you. Mm -hmm.